Assalamu alaikum and good morning to all my lovely students who are here in this class. I warmly welcome you back to the class. Uh, this is your science teacher, Ms. Sunayira, and today we are back with another lecture. So, we are going to continue our one of the chapter that we started in our last class. So, let's get started. Dear students, do you remember the name of the chapter that we started in the last class? The name of the chapter was Light. What was the name of the chapter? It was Light. This is our chapter number 7 and it is on page number 113 of your science book. So, Light is the chapter that we started and it is our chapter number 7. So, let's continue the chapter light. Here appears the things to learn. So, here are the things to learn from this chapter. In the chapter light, first we discussed about light, that what is light. Then we discussed about how light travels and we came to know that Light travels in a straight direction or a straight line that can be shown by an arrow. Then we learned about the speed of light. Okay, we know that light travels the fastest in the world than anything else. Afterwards, we learned about reflection that what is reflection? Today, we are going to learn about how light bends. Afterwards, the thing that would be discussed is investigating lenses in which we would learn about the types of lenses and there would be two types of lenses. Number one, convex lens. Number two, concave lens. After learning about the lenses, we would learn about magnifying glass, image, and in the last, we would learn about how camera works. Everybody has seen the camera. Do you know that how does it work? We would learn in this chapter. So how much uh, material or the things, how many things we have been taught here? We have learned till the reflection. So today we are going to continue from how light bends. So before starting the new material from this chapter, let's review our previous lecture so we could continue in a better way. We learned that light is a form of energy. And what is the biggest source of light? That is the sun. Right? So we learned that light is a form of energy. Then afterwards we learned that light travels in a straight line which can be denoted by an arrow. An arrow can be drawn to show the direction of light. Okay? So light travels in a straight line. So straight arrow can be drawn to show the light. Afterwards, we learned that light travels faster than anything we know about. Take example of anything. If we compare any of the thing in this world, the light travels the fastest. Light takes 8 minutes and 10 seconds. Now you can see the time. It is too short. Light takes... 8 minutes and 10 seconds to reach the earth from the sun. When light travels through water, its speed slows down. It means we know that light is the fastest thing or the thing that travels fastest in this world than anything else. But when it is passed through water, its speed slows down. We learned that when the light rays fall on the surface, 
some of the rays bounce back and this is called reflection what is reflection when you stand in front of the mirror what do you see you see your image that is actually the reflection so likewise when the light rays fall on the surface some of the rays bounce back and it is called reflection all the surfaces do not reflect light in the same way do you know shiny and smooth surfaces reflect more light than other surfaces we can take the example of mirror because mirror is smooth surface and shiny as well that is why it reflect the light much more than anything else so we can see our image very well so these are the things which we learned in detail in our last class so let's continue from the uh, from the bullet how light bends students what we are going to learn next we are going to learn about how light bends up till now we have learned that light travels in a straight line that can be denoted by an arrow now here it is written that light can be bent how light bends let's see students what do you see here you can see here a glass of water in which there is a spoon now you can see the spoon is the spoon is broken from here not at all so it means this spoon is in its original form or shape but if we look at it so it becomes it looks different how this is how the light bends so what have we got now when it travels from one clear substance to another what we are talking about we are talking about light bends light bends when it travels from one clear substance to another now you can see the light rays were falling on the surface of glass when it gets inside the water its speed slows down plus it can bend the direction and in the result the spoon or anything else like pencil in the water look uh, different right so when light bends light bends when it travels from one clear substance to another now my students my dear students you can see one more example over here and that is a glass of water with a pencil now why did the pencil bent when it was in the water light rays slowed down as they reached the edge of the glass and change the direction before reaching your eyes this makes the pencil look bent and the point of the pencil appears to be halfway up the glass now this pencil is a kind of a structure which is quite straight but why it is looking like bent structure due to the uh transformation of light from one clear substance to another this is how the light bends okay so here you can see that this changing the direction of light before reaching your eyes this makes the pencil look bent okay so here you can see what we have learned we have learned that light travels in a straight line right but when it travels from one clear substance to another it bends the direction or the light or or it uh, it gets bent plus we can see one more thing here that we learned that light is the fastest thing that can travel in the world but when it travels through uh, through water the speed of light slows down that is why it can change the direction okay so here we have got to know 
two of the things number one light slows down when it travels uh, through water plus light bends when it transfers or travels from one clear substance to another do you have idea what we are going to learn now we are going to learn about investigating lenses now what is the thing that we are going to learn next that is the lens so get ready to learn about the lenses first we must know that what is a lens now here you can see something that is made of glass plastic and some other transparent materials and is curved in shape is called a lens don't worry we are going to make it easy now what is a lens it, it can be something that is made of what that can be made of glass plastic or some other transparent material and that must be curved that must be transparent that must be curved so that is how that object or the thing or the material would be known as lens and here comes one of the example of the material that uses lens this portion which is made of glass this is called a lens now what are the things that we know about the lens we came to know two of the things about lens number 1 something that is made of glass plastic or some other transparent material and which can be seen here in the magnifying glass the second point about the lens was it must be curved it must be curved no matters that it is curved inwards or outwards it must be curved so if you have seen the magnifying glass you must have seen that it has a kind of curve that comes outward okay so this is an example of a lens in which we can see that it is a object that is made of glass sometimes uh many of the things are made which are lens they can be made of any other transparent material they they can be of plastic as well right and they must be curved why do we need to learn about a lens what does a lens do what is the function of a lens so here comes the reason due to which we learn about the lens when light rays pass through a lens the light rays change the direction when light rays pass through a lens the light rays change the direction that is why we learn about a lens what is a lens it is a transparent object it can be glass it can be made of glass it can be made of plastic or some other transparent material that must be curved right and what do they do they change the direction of light so what happens light rays when they are passed through a lens they change the direction how is it working let's see Now here comes one of the example of a lens. This object, which can which you can be which can be seen in blue color, this is a lens. Now you can see it is a transparent material and it is curved outwards, right? You can see that it is not straight or smooth. It comes outward as uh, slightly, right? now these black lines are uh, working as the light rays now you see they all are traveling in straight line but when the light rays pass through a lens they change the direction as this as it can be seen in the picture in front of you what is this object this is a lens these are the rays of light or the light rays so what have we come to know we have come to know that 
when light rays pass through a lens they change the direction as they can be shown in the picture up till now you have been taught about the lens and the function of lens lens is something that is made of glass plastic or something which is uh, transparent and lens must be curved why do we use lens what happens when a lens is used light rays when they pass through a lens they change the direction now what is the next that we are going to learn that is the types of lenses there are two main types of lenses and these are convex lens and concave lens how many types are there there are two types of lenses convex lens and concave lens right so let's begin to learn about the convex lens first then afterwards we would come to know about concave lens now here comes the convex lens this is a convex lens now look at the picture we are going to define the convex lens according to its shape right so what do we see here we see that convex lens is a lens with a surface that curves outward okay that curves outward like this right so a lens that curves outward is called convex lens what is a convex lens simply you are going to define it in simple words that a lens with a surface that curves outward is called a convex lens why it is important and how it changes the direction of light as we know that lenses are used to change the direction of light so we going to see that how the convex lens changes the direction of light so what happens here convex lens what does it do it collects the light at a point it collects the light at a point that can be shown in the next slide but before that uh, make sure that you have got about the structure of convex lens what is a convex lens it is a surface that curves outward okay this is so simple now we're going to see that how does it collect the light at a point this is how the convex lens works now you can see this is a convex lens what we have known uh, about it we came to know that it is a lens that curves outward which can be shown here plus it changes the direction of light as every lens does but how does it change the light the direction of light it collects all the light rays at a point now this is that point here is the point where all the light rays are collected okay so two things you must know about the convex lens and these are when uh, light rays pass through a convex lens the convex lens collect the direction uh, the light rays at a point and this is the point now here comes the next one which is concave lens this is how the convex uh, concave lens looks like so we are going to see the structure and we are going to define it according to its shape a lens with a surface that curves inward it is opposite of convex lens the convex lens the surface of convex lens curves outward and the surface of con concave lens curves inward and it is called concave lens what does it do it spreads the light in different direction what convex lens uh, does it collects the light at a single point but concave lens spread the light in different direction so here you can see the curve is inward right the curve is inward now we are going to see that how does it spread the light in different directions 
Now, my dear students, here you can see that how concave lens works. Now, you can see that all the light rays are traveling in straight line as they, as this is the property of light, right? But what concave lens is doing here? Concave lens is spreading the light in different direction, which can be shown easily in this animated picture, right? So light travels in a straight form, as this is the property, uh, as this is the a kind of property of the light. But when it passes a lens, and if the lens is concave lens, it would spread the light in different directions. Now, my dear students, here comes the difference between convex lens and concave lens. A lens with a surface that curves outward and the lens that curves inward is called concave lens. Convex lens, it collects the light at a point while concave lens spreads the light in different directions. The convex lens is also known as converging lens while the concave lens is also known as diverging lens. Why? We are going to learn. Don't worry. The center of the glass piece in the convex lens is thick. As it comes outward, it curves outward, so the glass piece is thick from the center while the edges are thin. On the other hand, it is opposite of it. The center of glass piece of concave lens is thin. The center is thin, whereas the edges are thick. Now see. These are the edges and this is the center. The center is thick, right? And the edges are thin in convex lens while it is uh, inverse in the concave lens as it can be shown here that the, uh, the center is thin while the edges are thick. Now, in this picture, you can see that converging lens. Why? Because it converges the light at a point while it is called as diverging lens that it diverges the light in different direction. It spreads the light in different directions. Here comes the conclusion of a lens. A lens is a piece of glass or other see-through material that is curved on one or both the sides. It is usually in the shape of a circle. Lenses are used to bend the light. This makes objects seen through a lens look bigger or smaller they really are than they really are. Okay. So here we have completed our today's lecture. Now we are about to continue this chapter in our next class. I uh, wish you the best of luck for your studies and stay safe, okay, and stay healthy. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.